night. George was seven feet and weighed 500 pounds. George, you okay, buddy? You're scared. It's okay. This morning, he's nine feet pushing a thousand. Watch out, The Rock is back to save us all. That's right, Dwayne Johnson. Coming off his biggest hit ever, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, which also became Sony's biggest movie ever, surpassing even Spider-Man uh, when it opened this Christmas and uh, has broken all box office records. Well, that means he can do pretty much anything and that he does now with Rampage, where he's here and out to save the world from three horrible monsters on the loose in Chicago. Oh my, oh my, can Dwayne Johnson save us all from this? Yes, he can, of course. I mean, this is all silly B-movie stuff wrapped in a big A-budget, big studio movie from Warner Brothers and New Line. Don't move a muscle. Are you crazy? No, don't move! Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Very funny. You and I laughing at your joke. New guy, he no laugh. It's directed, in fact, by Brad Payton, who uh, teamed with Johnson before on San Andreas. And, of course, Dwayne Johnson plays these characters who seemingly are not superhero types, not invested with superpowers, but can do anything. Fly helicopters, fly planes climb buildings, fight monsters. That's what he does here, including a giant albino gorilla by the name of George and a 30 foot tall wolf. They have been genetically engineered into these mutant monsters uh, for no good by the Energine Corporation, run by Claire, played by Malin Ackerman, and by her brother, Brett, played by Jake Lacey, in a brilliant Donald Trump Jr. style, wimpy characterization of this guy who will do anything, a squirrely guy. He and his sister are really evil, and they've created this business where they're going to manufacture these genetic uh, kinds of uh, predators. And I don't really know what the reason for that is, except there's a lot of money to be had uh, by doing these genetic experiments and then coming up with the antidote for them. At any rate, all hell breaks loose on a space station high above the Earth that they have. Uh, where these experiments go awry and it explodes. The debris lands at the San Diego Wild Park. That is where Johnson works with George. It's weird. You like hanging out with animals more than people. Yeah, well, animals get me. I rescued George when he was two years old. George never would have survived on his own. He definitely trusts you. But with all the debris falling there from space, uh, among them is this horrible ingredient that turns these lovable animals into monsters. George, of course, sniffs it somehow and begins to exhibit terrible signs of this kind of behavior. First on a rampage through the park, then he's put down and taken on a cargo plane, which is engineered here by Jeffrey Dean Morgan's uh, slippery federal agent named Russell. He comes on to investigate the scene and take care of things. Nevertheless, when George wakes up on the plane, all hell breaks loose. They have to parachute out of there, and uh, George goes down with the plane, but somehow survives. That sets off the big monster action here. Not just George, but these other two creatures who wreak havoc on Chicago. And of course, only Dwayne Johnson can save them. Also, his cohort here, who is uh, played by Naomi Harris. She plays Kate Caldwell, and she used to work at this Energine Corporation and knows exactly what these two evil people were up to. Is there something in the river? Just thinking, the only thing that's missing right now is a giant crocodile. From the uh, last half of the movie on, it is non-stop special effects. CGI monsters chewing up everything and everyone and every car. And if you like all-out monster movies, that's what this one is. It is B-grade to be sure, but it's a lot of fun to watch. In the way of Kong Skull Island or Godzilla or any of these movies, it knows what it wants to be and it doesn't shy away from it. Certainly Brad Payton knows how to deliver this on screen with the help of a lot of genius type special effects artists here. 
And uh, Rampage is just that. It's based on a video game. It totally delivers as a video game. I wasn't bored at all in this, and I had a lot of fun with the character of George. Nevertheless, this is a movie for monster lovers everywhere. So if you're one of those, I say go.